got a chance to attend one program in this village area where it is called Pradipa Karanji. That means they are trying to knit the culture of varieties of um, cultural games and uh, songs and fancy dress competition of our culture of this area. They make the children from first standard to seventh standard to participate. That was wonderful. <laughs> Feeling so happy that I spoke for such a long time and then the culture is being knitted back. Rajiv Gandhi, this is the second time I'm talking about human discourse. Rajiv Gandhi said the freedom movement transformed the status of women. Women fought along with men as comrades in the process. The shackles that has bound them fell away. And exactly these were the words I was looking for, which has been connecting us in our family and joint family and family. Freedom movement, freedom, freedom, freedom. Yes, the freedom movement. The moment you give freedom, Transform the status of women. It transform the status of the women means transform the status of my country, of my family. Yes. The moment you give freedom, freedom means what? Not to strip and run in the street. Freedom is not to unnecessarily disturb the society. One Zen master was made the judge by the king because he was the teacher of the Zen master. And the very first case came to the Zen master and he listened and what was the case? The public prosecutor was trying to explain that this person, the robber, snatched the gold chain of this lady and he's arrested. And the judge said, enough, enough, I'm going to give the judgment. He said, no, 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 judgment, no. Many things has to follow. Judgment is lady. He said, no, I can't wait. I'm going to give the judgment. He threw the judgment. What was it? Arrest the lady and put her inside the jail and leave the robber free. And everybody was shocked. Why? He said, the lady provoked the man with, this, with the gold chain. If she has got something extra with the society doesn't have, she shouldn't. Provoke the man. She provoked the man with the with the she provoked the robber with the gold, and the robber was poor, so he snatched it. The king got frightened. Everybody went and advised him, and the judge. I, it was said that the Zen master, as a judge, was removed from the status. Freedom movement transformed the status of women. Women fought along with men. That was one of the most beautiful part, like the corona, even during that 1947, 1930s and 40s. Look, the, the, the prakriti, the nature, the God came in the form of a struggle, in the form of a revolution. And in the revolution, men were forced to ask the women for help. Yes, when they fought hand in hand together, when they fought hand in hand together, they found out first time they became friends. Husband and wife became friends. Men and women became friends. And in that friendship, they understood freedom was more beautiful. Yes. And that's what I'm trying to tell the family in the house, the husband and wife should sit in the same plate and eat together, cook together, take baths together, clean the house together. That is a time they both speak in one voice. And hearing that, the children also understand they work together. Together, the love blooms and you can see the beautiful, the beautiful love getting converted to a family. The beautiful love converting to health. The beautiful love chasing the diseases away. The beautiful love creating richness in the heart, in the soul, and in the house. Together is strength, alone is weakness. In the process, the shackles that have bound them fell away. The chains which has locked them to tell, I am man and you are women. I am husband, you are wife. The moment you are married, husband and wife, the male and the female is disconnected. The male and the female 
becomes one. Husband and wife becomes one. And from that one, they talk. From the one, they move. From the one, they produce another one. One plus one equals one and one and not two. Again, it is one and one. That stands the power of the family tree. We have lost that connecting link. Rajiv Gandhi said the freedom movement transformed the status of women. Freedom movement. Every house should have a freedom movement. Movement to move this side and that side. A freedom movement to express, allowing the wife to express, the husband to express. All together when they are together in the family, all together expresses their kaisa. Every day one development, one growth. And in that development and growth of discussions, there is only love, there is no suspicious. Suspicious drags you to diseases, suspicious drags you to make you move far away. Communication gap is the greatest hurdle of all the development. Rajiv Gandhi said the freedom movement transformed the status of women. Women fought along with men as comrades. Yes, husband and wife, please fight along with as comrades, as friends, as lovers. That was the beauty. When you fight for your freedom together in the house, for your intelligence, for your heart, for your spirituality, you can see the child in the house also grows with that power. You don't need a tuition center. That freedom movement transformed the status of women. Women fought along with men as comrades. When women fought men along with men as comrades, the teachers fought with the children. Children, students fought with the, te with the teachers as comrades, as friends. And in the, pro in the process, the shackles that bound them fell away. In the, in the process, that unconscious state became conscious. And they start be children became observant in that freedom of they become they able to break the shackles of teacher and student, father and mother, society and them, leader and people. When leader and people become one, the company and the workers, the employer and the employees break the chains and they become bound together. When the shackles break away, you can see there is always profit in the company. There is only love. They are not feeling of reaching back home. Rajiv Gandhi said the freedom movement transforms status of women. That should be the freedom movement in the house. When the family is strong, they will practice the Sanskriti. And in that freedom, they will understand the strength of the Surya the sun goddess and they do Surya Namaskar together and when they penetrate together they'll understand there is power in the, in the sun to convert the sun into solar and in their freedom when they break the shackles when they work together as comrades teacher and student husband and wife they can understand the rain when it comes it is not to get frightened to run inside but to play and joy with joy and collect all the rainwater to put it in a beautiful palm growing as many flowers lily pond yes that becomes the joint family and in that process you can live with happiness because the family stands strong Come break this chain and see the richness. Break the chain and you can see only richness. You are never poor. Our family tree is heading for disaster. We need to learn how to work with the family rather against it. Come join hands with me and say it with love. Our family. Knit the family. The joint family and the family tree.